Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos, and literally within the hour, um, we've completed um, this uh, SD. Actually, the, the, the vast majority of the work um, was done by was done by our wonderful Julio here. Um, Yay, Julio! Yay, Julio! <laughs> so, uh, he's been working on pianos for 30 years. There were other people that, that helped in this process. Uh, he's been working on it for the last, uh, this, it's been, oh, maybe a week or so, so approximately uh, about 50 hours, 60 hours, something like that. I'm making this actually on, at the end of the week. Um, so I thought that I'd make a video of this piano before it even left the shop, I mean, within an hour of completion. So. Um, this particular piano, I haven't even gotten the year yet. I'll get the year here soon. Um, it's my guess would be around 19 teens, World War One ish. It's an SD, like I said, we're actually rebuilding another SD right now. We're doing like a full rebuild. So, this particular piano, um, I have been working on this this exact piano since about 2000, 2000, 2001. It belonged to my uh, BYU calculus professor from night he was my calculus professor in 1996 and then in 2000 2001 something like that I started tuning it for him and his family and I tuned it every Halloween I would go over there and um, or like a few days before Halloween I remember that because his kids always have stuff up Halloween stuff up on the wall I tune it for him every year faithfully and then he traded it in just this last maybe a couple months ago, something like that, like this spring, sometime spring of 2015, for a high loon, and now we've completely redone it. So let's take a quick tour. So all of this, the, the wood, I hope you can see in the video, the wood is um, beautiful. It's nice and shiny. I mean, there are gouges and stuff, um, but uh, um, the wood is definitely, I would consider, definitely refurbished it's it's really good looking and then all of this all of the brass new new little rubber bumpers let's look on the inside all this brass was completely redone and this and this brass here the brass hinges and there all of this um, was cleaned up so of course it was it was like black with soot and dirt and stuff that you get after a hundred years or so of piano use um, Mike you already got the a, a shot of the pedals. Yeah. Beautiful. And, the, and all three of the wheels, the casters, are done. Um, the, uh, the keys are beautiful. Oh, yeah, and this little brass thing. So, so right now we're just looking at cosmetics and, and uh, how clean the inside is. Um, oh, and he also, he also refinished the, uh, the dampers there. They're beautiful and shiny. So all of that is cosmetic stuff. The, uh, the hammers, and of course, so this is a Steinway that we're working on. The hammers, as you can see here, are flat on the Steinway. They start rounded, but then they're totally flattened from years of use um, and of, of hitting the string, and they're supposed to be perfectly rounded. And all of these on this Steinway are just, there's a really good example, how it starts rounded, and then where the strings, where it hits the strings, it's just flat. So all of these hammers on this SD are totally, um, totally re-rounded, and, and so rather than the flat surface hitting the string, you've got the, just the rounded crown, the top part of the crown that's hitting the string. Everything is lubricated, aligned to the, aligned to the string, so, that, so they're not like hitting off to the side, they're hitting dead on. There were a number of parts that he replaced. Um, keys level, the action completely regulated. Um, uh, of course, it's up to concert pitch and tune, but that wasn't an issue because I've been tuning this piano for years. It was already <laughs> up to pitch and tune. Um, but he did it. He did it. I actually haven't tuned this piano. Um, I think the last time I went over there was uh, 2013, I want to say. They knew they were going to get a, a new high lean, so, so they held off. Um, this last one. Um, what else? It's, I mean, it, it, the, the action is lubricated, like the knuckles. The knuckles are a major, um, major part of, part of the action. 
that uh, all of that was redone. He put new felt, more cosmetic stuff. So the piano cosmetically is really nice. The touch, the touch is really nice because it's because it's perfectly regulated. We've got the regulation is a is a, is a long process that that ensures that the touch is consistent and correct from one note to the next to maximize your power and your repetition, and it, and it dramatically um, uh, aids in in, uh, in in dynamic dynamic range. So so with a properly regulated piano like this one, even though it's 100 years old, give or take, you can still play very pianissimo. I don't know if you can hear that with the drill press going, or you can. Triple forte, you can you, and everything in between. That's what a properly regulated piano will do. Okay, so let's let's hear it. One hour off the refin or the refurbishing assembly line. The touch is excellent, the tone, the everything. So uh, I'm really happy with how, and frankly, frankly, I'm, I'm, I'm overjoyed. I couldn't be happier with how this, this piano turned out. So uh, come check it out for yourself. It won't be here in the shop, although if you come, you're welcome to come get a tour of the shop. A lot of people like to see piano guts. Got lots of pianos lined up over there. And Jared working on, a, on an old crown. <laughs> piano totally rebuilding it so you're welcome to have a tour of the shop when you come but this piano will be in the um, it's heading out to the um, showroom here in a few minutes thanks for watching 1497 South State Street and the in Orem and the website is Brigham Larson pianos at uh, Brigham Larson pianos.com and Larson is spelled with an O